What's up guys, Michael here, coming to you with another video. People are becoming increasingly concerned about online privacy, more so than ever before. If you've switched to Signal up like myself, you might want to learn some of the cool features that it offers. In this video, I'm going through the most important tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Let's get started. If you've had enough of constant contact join notifications, don't worry, you can disable it right away. Once in Signal, tap on your profile icon, select notifications and toggle off contact join Signal. By default, whenever you receive a Signal notification, the name and the message appears. If you want to be extra secure, you can customize that. Go to Signal, click on your profile icon, Select notifications and under show, change it to name only. Now this feature is pretty cool and I haven't seen it in any other platform. You can basically with a single tap automatically blur faces on the images. You can also apply manual blur, you can draw lines, you can place stickers on the picture. You can also set for recipient to only be able to see it once. With Signal, you can very easily change the font size. In Signal, click on your profile icon, then chats, and then select message font size. In case you send a message by mistake, Signal allows you to easily revoke it within three hours using delete for everyone feature. Simply go to Signal, go to the recipient you want, select your message and hit the bin icon. Choose delete for everyone. Have you ever felt guilty for not responding to a message when you don't have anything to say? Me many times. While some platforms don't offer this feature, Signal allows you to long press any message and choose one of the emojis. Pretty cool. This is one of my favorite. You can easily store notes, images and messages to yourself. If you have multiple devices linked, all of them will sync those messages. In Signal, simply click on the pencil icon, search for note to self, click on the option and start leaving messages, images. I don't know about yourself, but the first thing I do when I install a new app is to enable dark mode. In Signal, tap on the three dots at the top right, go to settings, appearances, and then change the theme to dark. Signal supports receiving and sending stickers. Simply go to Signal and one of the recipients, choose the stickers icon. You can choose either simple emojis or stickers. Not very satisfied with the amount of stickers Signal provides? Me too. There's a very cool way to download new stickers from unofficial website. Let's have a look. Simply open your browser and go to signalstickers.com. Once there, look for a sticker that interests you. I'm gonna go with Homer Simpson. Once there, click on add to signal and choose signal to open the stickers. Now your newly installed stickers will be available in the sticker section. If you're not into locking your phone, you can easily use Signal Screen Lock. This way you will secure the app and avoid others from accessing it without your permission. If you want to enable it, simply click on your profile icon, select Privacy and enable Screen Lock. You can also choose the timeout for the screen locking activity. You can pin important chats and groups to the top of the screen on Signal app. Signal supports up to four chats and this is a very convenient feature when you quickly want to access the chat. How do you use this feature? Simply hold one of the recipients for a couple of seconds. Once highlighted, just select pin icon. Signal also allows you to pin chats to the home screen. Simply go to Signal, select one of the users, click on the three dots at the top right and choose add to home screen.
you can easily archive chats on Signal and access them from the bottom of the app screen. The archive chat will come out of the archive if you get a new message. Once in Signal, select and hold one of the recipients for a couple of seconds and choose the archived icon. If you want to bring them back from the archive conversations, you have to send them a message or they have to send you a message. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've chosen Signal as one of your messaging app, I'd love to know why. Leave a comment down below. If this video was useful to you, please consider liking it. Also, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of new content coming up. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.